Wilhelm Steinitz was born on May 14, 1836 in the Jewish ghetto of Prague, a part of the Austrian Empire, now the capital of the Czech Republic. He learned to play chess at the age of 12, but didn't really focus on it until he was 20. After that, he began playing serious chess and his skill level rose significantly. He earned the nickname Austrian Morphy in the late of 1850s. This achievement meant that he had become the strongest player in Austria. Not being narrowed in Austrian, he began to conquer the world and became one of the top players in the world. In 1866, he defeated Adolf Anderson, who was regarded as the world's best player at that time. And since then, Steinitz has been considered the world's strongest player. However, it was not until 1886, after defeating Zuckertor, that he was officially recognized as the world champion at the age of 50. In 1889, he successfully defended the world championship against the famous Russian player, Mikhail Chigorin, and in 1892, Chigorin challenged again. After 23 games, Steinitz won 10, lost 8, drew 5, and still kept his title. Now let's come to the fourth game. One of the chess games voted as the best of that tournament in 1892. In this game, Steinitz started with e4, and Chigorin responded with e5. Knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5. Knight to c6, defending the pawn. Bishop to b5, the Roy Lopes opening. Now black develops knight to f6, the Berlin defense variation. Pawn to d3, protecting e4. Pawn to d6, opens up for the bishop develop. Pawn to c3, pawn to g6. Knight to d2, bishop to g7, controlling the long diagonal and preparing to castle. Now white moves knight f1 to put the knight on either g3 or e3. Black castles and the knight c6 was unpinned. So white moves bishop back to a4, then goes back to b3 or c2. Black moves knight back to d7. White jumps knight e3 to control the center, and now, black plays knight to c5, attacking white bishop on a4. Bishop retrieves to c2, knight to e6 by black, then this knight may come to f4 square. We have pawn to h4, putting pressure on the h-file and opening up the kingside attack. Black plays knight to e7, prevent white knight from jumping the center on d5. White continues push pawn to a5, attacking black pawn on g6. If captures a5, rook captures a5, then the h-file was open for rook control. Pressing on a7, white will take advantage. So black doesn't take white pawn on a5, he moves pawn to d5, attacking the center. And the exchange begin. We have h takes g6. F takes g6. E takes d5. Knight takes d5. Knight takes d5, and queen captures the knight on d5. After exchanging number of pieces, you can see white has rook control a file, a pair of bishop threaten on the king side, but black seems to control the center. So white has slight advantage. Next, bishop to b3. Attack the black queen. Queen runs to x3. And now, black knight is pinned on e6. Steinitz continues adding more pressure by queen to e2, threatening move bishop to h6. Chikorin plays bishop to d7, connecting two rooks. Bishop come to e3, preparing long castle. Black king slides to a8, unpin the knight on e6. White castles as planned. Black moves rook to e8, to control semi-open e-file. Queen to f1, avoiding any troubles on the e-file. Pawn to a5, threatening a4 to attack white bishop. White plays to 4, threatening up to d5, attacking both queen and knight. So e takes d4. Knight takes back to 4, attacking the queen. In this position, if black uses knight take back to 4, the diagonal is opened. White will sacrifice rook to capture h7, check. Force the black king takes h7, queen h1, check, and black will be mated in two moves. So back to the position. 
Black is very clever. Instead of using knight, he uses bishop takes d4. But white has brilliant move by sacrificing rook to capture the bishop on d4. Black greedily takes rook, despite wanting material, but it's blunder. Taking this chance, white instantly plays rook captures h7, sacrificing rook and check. A brilliant move. Black has only one move is must take the rook. Now you'll see a brilliant combination of stainets. Queen to h1, check. King runs to g7. Bishop h6, check. King runs to f6. Queen e4, check. King run to e5. Queen takes d4, check. After this move, black will be mated in one. So he resigned. A beautiful game and excellent whining for Wilhelm Steinitz. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you again.